here at Ray Tompkins' house, the varsity room with the Jolie Smilo, head coach of Yale football, Tom Williams, and that has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? It sure sounds good to be uh, named head coach at Yale University. Coach, your college experience, your professional experience, why Yale, why now? Why, what's the right fit about this? Well, you know, I think with my, my background, my experiences as a Stanford student athlete, having been recruited by the Ivy Leagues, uh, understanding what the, uh, the academic rigors and pressures that the student athlete is going to face here, uh, I think it made sense uh, that I could connect with this young man that's going to be playing here at Yale and give them a chance to experience not only athletic success but academic success as well. What do you know of the Yale tradition as you come into this? I know that we need to beat Harvard. <laughs> I know that that's something that's very important. Uh, I know the, the tradition of having one captain uh, for the football team or for all the sports, I think, is something that uh, I think is outstanding. But uh, uh, those are the traditions that I'm familiar with right now, and I'm sure I'll, I'll know more as we get going. I was talking to Carm Koza, the Hall of Fame coach, last night, and he said to me that you mentioned to him that he actually sent you a letter way back when, when you were, when you were Tom Williams, the player. And, but that's not the only connection you have to him. What, what does Carm Koza still being around here mean to you? Well, Coach is a legend in the uh, football community. You know, I had a chance to work with uh, Dick Tomey, who was a GA for Coach Koza back at Miami of Ohio uh, a long time ago. Miami of Ohio is considered the cradle of coaches, as you know. And, and if you look at the history of the coaches that have come through there, you can see why. But uh, because of that association, I feel like I've almost worked for Coach Koza. <laughs> I've got a chance to know uh, uh, in, in detail what it takes to be a successful coach. And then knowing what coaches accomplished here at Yale has given me tremendous his insight and I look forward to picking his brain as we go forward. You're a young coach but it's not an inexperienced coach. You've worked with some other great coaches as well. Who have been some of your biggest mentors? Well, you know, I'd have to start with Coach Walsh. You know, Bill Walsh was uh, the one who nudged me into the coaching profession. I was on my way to law school, and he talked me out of it, thank God. Uh, he gave me an opportunity to coach at Stanford as a graduate assistant. He, he saw something in me that uh, made him think that I'd have a chance to be successful in this profession. And, uh, and lo and behold, I sit before you as a Yale football coach. Uh, Dennis Green was another tremendous influence for me uh, as a football coach. I got to play for Coach Green, and, and he brought a, a certain amount of toughness and tenacity and, and uh, a competitiveness that I have embraced as a coach. Uh, Tyrone Willingham, uh, just a, a tremendous role model and gentleman, and, and giving me the sense of uh, being able to do both, how you can, be, you can flip the switch and, and be a tough guy on the football field and then come off and be a gentleman. Um, working with Rick Neuheisel, I learned recruiting. I mean, the, he is a phenomenal recruiter. He's, he has the, a very strong ability to connect people, to relate, and uh, that's, that's something that I learned from him. And uh, Coach uh, Del Rio, Jack Del Rio, that I just finished working for in Jacksonville, uh, he has his finger on the pulse of a team like no one I've ever been around. He's got the ability to know what the team needs and when it needs it, and uh, he can push the right buttons. Uh, Dick Tomey, I mean, no one can build – uh, chemistry and camaraderie on a team like Dick told me. That's what I learned from him. He's the master at doing that. And if you take all those things and you roll them up into one, those those have all become who Tom Williams is. You know, you take the things that you really enjoy, you take some things that you think are weaknesses of yours, and you add those other aspects of it, and it helps round you into the coach that you become. And Tom Williams, when you were at Stanford, a place where a student athlete and the student is not an afterthought, you live that out to the really the fullest. How much does that add value to you and that you hope to enrich the lives of these Yale students you're going to be coaching? Well, I hope it adds a lot of value. You know, I hope those guys can look at me and say, God, Coach did that. You know, and I hope that they can listen when I tell them, hey, guys, you don't, you don't have to just be a football player. You, know, you can go to the symphony. You can go to the art museum. You can sing in the choir. You can uh, play an instrument. You can do all those things and still win football games. It's possible. Believe me, I've done it. And I think when parents hear that in the homes and recruiting and they see that it's being lived out here on campus with the current student athletes that we have, I think that synergy will create nothing but success and uh, longevity for this program. You talked a lot about recruiting earlier today in the press conference. That seems like a challenge that you're clearly going to embrace and try and take to new horizons in terms of Ivy League athletes. I think that there's a, a lot of very good student athletes that 
uh, would love the opportunity to compete at a place like Yale. And I think that we've got to do a great job of making sure we turn over all the rocks, that we get into all the states with schools that will present those type of student athletes and get them here on campus and understand uh, what's available to them. You know, there'll be some that'll want to go and play Division One football, and that's okay. Uh, we'll send them on their way and, and pat them on the back and say thanks. But there'll be a lot of them, that, like yourself, that'll come here and truly enjoy being a Yale man. What do you think are some of the most important things to go about accomplishing your two goals, to, for starters? And that's your two goals were win the Ivy League and beat Harvard. That's right. Well, we've got to make sure we evaluate the current roster as it exists and put those guys in the best position to be successful in the fall as soon as we hit the ground running. And then we've got to finish up this recruiting year strong and, and bring that, that class that's coming in and get them uh, – uh, incorporated into the program and the things that we're going to be doing. In the meantime, the off-season program is just tremendously important. As you know, we've got to make sure we're getting bigger, stronger, and faster. And uh, once we get all those things, all those components working together, then we go start competing and, and keeping score in the fall. Do you have a certain philosophy that you'll bring as a coach? We're just going to make sure that uh, when people play Yale, that they know that they've been in a fight. We want to be establish ourselves as a, uh, a one of the toughest teams in this conference. We want it to be physical. We want it to be uh, uh, violent. Um, but we also want to be known as smart and tough. You've been very successful a lot of stages. What, what are some of the biggest lessons or most important lessons you think you've learned along the way? Uh, enjoy the enjoy the journey. You know, it's not it's not the destination that's important. It's the journey, and it's the people you meet along the way. It's the relationships that you build, and it's living in the now. You know, uh, you don't ever look back, and you never look forward. If you enjoy today as it exists, then you'll go a long way, and you won't be disappointed. Coach Tom Williams, we thank you for joining us, and uh, best of luck along the way. We'll be we'll be watching. Ron, thank you very much. All right, that's the new Jolie Smilo, class of '54 head coach of Yale football, Tom Williams.